And throughout history, many people have turned to the, why not? Why not do that? For Adam, why not eat the fruit? We all know that one. For Cain, it was, why not commit murder? I mean, we all have brothers and sisters. We understand that. Why not? (laughs) For Esau, why not sell your birthright for a bowl of chili or a bowl of stew? Why not? For Jonah, why not turn and run in the opposite direction of Nineveh? Why not turn and go in the opposite direction of what God's asking you to do? Why not? For the whale, why not eat Jonah? You know, why not? It was a joke. Come on, work with me this morning. (laughs) But is saying why not, is it always wrong? Is it always wrong to say why not? Well, let's see. Why would Daniel remain faithful to a God? In Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, we see, why would he remain faithful to a God? Daniel is taken prisoner of war. Daniel is forced into slavery. Talk about the potential of being angry at God. Talk about the potential of being bitter towards God. Developing a hatred towards God. Why not eat the king's food? Why not? After the cards that life has dealt Daniel, why not? And that's exactly what Daniel said. Why not? But he said, why not stay pure? Why not refuse to defile myself? So why would Noah continue to build an ark, to build a boat? It had never rained in the history of the earth. God asks him to to do something with no proof of what he's about to do will ever come to pass. Ten years go by, not a a cloud in the sky. Twenty years go by, not a drop of rain. Thirty years go by, and as we say around here, another day in paradise. (laughs) Forty, fifty, sixty years go by. Can you imagine being the constant blunt end of a joke? Look at that. Look at those crazy people building an ark. Can you imagine that? 99 years, nothing. Why not quit? Why not? But Noah said, why not finish what God's asked me to do? Why would Abraham continue to believe a God that makes promises that can't seem to fulfill his promises? You know what it's like. You, know, you all know what it's like to have a, a relative, a friend, a coworker, somebody you're around that's always saying yes, but never coming through. Abraham was serving a God who seemed to make promises that never seemed to come, come to pass. Why not doubt God? Why not say, forget you, God? It's too late. I'm almost 100 years old. And have you seen Sarah lately? (laughs) But Abraham said, why not believe God? (laughs) Why would David walk onto the battlefield and face a giant that was clearly not his responsibility? Why? Why would you face a giant that's clearly not your responsibility? Fighting someone else's battle. This is not my problem. But but David said, why not? This is my destiny. When I think of that, when I think of David fighting someone else's battles, I I think of the Bethany house in the, the orphanage in Uganda. On one hand, why take responsibility for someone else's children? In this economy... The pressures that we have on our lives already. On the other hand, why not save a life? Why not? Throughout the Bible, we read the why nots of people. You getting this? Why not? Why not? Throughout the Bible, we read Lot. Why not go hang out in Sodom Sodom and Gomorrah, a city known for sexual immorality? This is what people throw a lot of times when when you talk about Lot. Well, pastor... I was reading on the internet, and Bible scholars agree that there's no proof that Lot ever sinned in Sodom and Gomorrah. There's no proof that he ever sinned. You're right. There's no proof that he ever sinned. But his why not led to the demise of his family. His family was destroyed there. Yes, many of you can go hang out in places in this valley, and it may not affect your life. But it could be the demise of your marriage. It could be the demise of your children. 
you'll have to make the decision on, on the why not. For Samson, he came to a point in his life where he had to make a decision. You getting this now? Why not? What was his why not? Why not hang out and have sex with a prostitute? Let me check the ages around here. Why not just hang out in the red light district? <laughs> Mental note, change next service. <laughs> or why not fulfill the destiny for which you were born? We already know Samson made the wrong choice.